YouTube, what is going on? Back in the latest video. Today is a very epic and special video. Today I have a mystery box for you guys from Spastic Collectibles. This is a $1,300 mystery box. $1,300. So I've never ordered a mystery box for this much money ever. A little nervous about opening this box up, but Spastic has been good to me in the past, so hoping this uh, trend continues with them. Uh, it was $1,300, and I do believe the guarantee or the value was guaranteed. Um, they had some really cool top grails in there. Uh, the top grail was the uh, Freddy Funko Big Boy with the blue um, outfit. They had Mr. Incredible on there with the blue suit. Uh, Freddy is the Black Ranger, which is the one I actually kind of want the most. Wouldn't settle for the other two. I wouldn't be mad about the other two either. They also had the Martian, the metallic version of him, and also metallic Batgirl as well. So those were the top six grails in the box. I'm assuming at least one of those is going to be in here because there were only numbered. Uh, there were only six boxes available. I have box number five. Without further ado, let's open this one up and see what we got. Here we go. Alright guys, so before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content. So like I said, this was a $1,300 damage mystery box from Spastic Collectibles. So like I said, the, guarantee, the value was guaranteed, and they also um, mentioned there would be four pops per box. So. Like I said, this is the most I've ever done for Mystery Box. Uh, I've done like a $1,000 one in the past, and I actually have another $1,300 box coming in from Pop King Paul, so stay tuned for that video as well. Um, but this box is double boxed, had the sign for it and everything, so I was really excited. This is the earliest the mailman actually come, come, came to my house. Um, the mailman normally gets here around like 6 o'clock or whenever they feel like it. They were here like 9 o'clock in the morning, so I didn't have to wait at all for this one. Uh, really excited to start my day with this mystery box so let's open this double box up and see what we got like I said uh, the Freddy uh, big boy is the most expensive one I think he's like twenty two hundred dollars then the mr. Uh, Incredibles like fifteen hundred dollars um, and then the Black Rangers around that price too definitely like the Black Ranger or mr. Credible over the big boy but wouldn't be upset to get that um, so let's see what's in here all right so it's four pops uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tell which one's the top grail or not. It's bubble wrap too. They really went all out. So actually, there is one in the hard stack, and the others are in just regular protectors. So we'll do the hard stack one last. So let's see what these uh, other cool pops are gonna be. Like I said, there's four in here. First pop. Okay, so this is Katana from Suicide Squad. I don't believe she's very expensive at all. I believe this is just a regular common pop. I do believe I pulled this in the past before. Um, I think I've seen Suicide Squad, maybe not all the way through, uh, but definitely seen it, uh, at least half of it. Um, I wasn't a really a big fan, I know a lot of people were on the fence about it as well. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you guys like this movie. Uh, I think there is actually a katana coming out as well for Emerald City Comic Con. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought that's what I saw. Um, but this one's cool if you're into DC Pops or the Suicide Squad. Let's see what she's going for. Uh, okay, so I can't scan this one, so let's enter this one in manually. All right, guys, so Katana's going for six bucks. So we got a ways to go to get our $1,300 guarantee value, uh, but it doesn't surprise me. There's some commons in here as well. Maybe that means the top grill is going to be in here, and there's going to be some commons uh, to make up that difference. Because uh, I think the lowest valued grail is the Bat Girl, and they have that valued at $840. So, yes, yeah, got to be a ways to make up. For the, get to the eight to get to the thirteen hundred dollars with the eight hundred forty dollar one, so I'm thinking maybe this is a better box. So let's see. Number two. <laughs> okay, so another common pop. This is George Washington. Um, I don't think anybody needs an introduction to who George Washington is. First president of the U.S. Uh, yeah, this is um, one of those American history pops. The other one in the set with him was Abraham Lincoln. I think they also had a lot more of this uh, exclusive. They had George Washington on the Delaware River for Target. Rosie the Riveter for Target as well, and a few other ones. I think I've opened the John F. Kennedy in a box before as well. Um, like I said before in that video, not really what I like to collect. Um, I'm not a huge George Washington fan. Um, I don't know a lot of people are, but that's just not me. But George Washington's going for eight bucks. All right, so we have $14 uh, to go uh, so far. We have 
a $1,300 guarantee value to get to. So definitely have a ways to go. I'm a little bit excited, but also a little bit nervous because like I said, normally in boxes I've pulled before, when it's front loaded with commons and it's a guarantee value, that means the pop in there that's going to make up the difference is going to be huge grail. So we'll see what this last um, non-top grail pop's going to be. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited, but also nervous because uh, maybe it's just the bad girl. We'll see. Like I said, I wouldn't be upset to get the bad girl, but I definitely would rather have um, the other three. But here we go. Oh yeah. So this is the final um, pop that is not a top grail. This is Jen Erso from Rogue One. So I think I remember uh, Jen Erso from Star Wars. I did see Rogue One, I think. Is that, if that's the first one, I saw it. Um, but yeah, this is not expensive pop at all. This is the Smuggler's Bounty exclusive Jen Erso. She, uh, I think is going for like six bucks or something like that. We'll check in a second. Um, but as you guys, if you're a fan of the channel, you definitely know that I'm not a huge Star Wars collector. Definitely not a uh, newer movie Star Wars collector. Some of the pops back there are cool. Like the Scarab Trooper is pretty dope looking. Um, that's about it. <laughs> but Jen Erso is not really what I like to collect. So unfortunately, of the three commons, uh, none really fit into my collection. So hopefully that means that the top girl will. But let's see what she's going for. She doesn't have a scanner on the bottom. Um, if you guys are ever looking to scan uh, pops, you can always do that through the Funko app. I know a lot of people who watch this channel aren't really into Funko, but a lot of people aren't. So I like to kind of explain that as well. If you download the Funko app, there's a camera at the top right, right there. You can just click that picture, click that little uh, camera button and scan the uh, barcode at the bottom. Unfortunately, this one does not have a barcode, so that's fit um, because the Smuggler's Bounty ones and I think the Marvel Collector Core ones as well don't have a scanner on the bottom. But this one's going for nine bucks. So a little bit more than what I thought, um, but I believe what's that, like $23 or something like that? Yeah, 20, yeah, $23. So we have a ways to go to get to our guarantee value and we have the final pop. So if you guys have made it this far, hit that like button. Let me know you guys are watching this video and excited for Top Grail just like myself. Um, yeah, I'm really kind of hoping if I had to pick any of them, I think I want the Black Ranger Freddy. Um, like I said, it's kind of a uh, one and two. Black Ranger Freddy and Mr. Incredible. Uh, this one's got some weight to it, so I don't know what that means. Uh, the Metallic Martian one, he looked cool, but he was only like a $900 um, pop based on the value they had there. So I don't believe that's what's going to be. I think it's gonna be one of those top three, the Freddy, the uh, Mr. Incredible, or the Black Ranger. So without further ado, let's pull this last pop and see what we got. Here's the final pop. Oh, we have the Black Ranger Freddy Funko right there. Wow. 24 piece limited too? I didn't know it was that limited. Wow, man. So that is actually pretty timely as well. If you guys follow me at all on Instagram um, or the YouTube channel, you know I've been working on my Power Ranger collection. So this is going to be the top grail in that Power Ranger collection. This one is really, really, really dope. So I'm not sure if this is the most expensive Freddy Funko Power Ranger that they have or not, um, but definitely one that I had my eyes on that I never really thought I would get. I know there's a white ranger. I think there's a red ranger. And I don't know if, if there's a blue or pink and yellow ranger. Um, but this one I've had on my, my wish list for a long time. Um, just as a shot in the dark, maybe one day I'll get it. Today is that day. So this one's from Fun Days 2017. You guys can see back there. Um, I do have one other 24 piece pop in my collection. I had that Spangler uh, back there, the Ghostbusters one. So this is my second. Freddy Funko that's limited to 24 pieces. That is crazy. Um, yeah, that's kind of why I bought these boxes, was to get some of these Freddies. Um, I, at first, when I got into Funko, I, I thought Freddy was a little weird, um, but the more I've gotten into deep to the hobby, I like to have these rare pops. Um, you know, they're really, really cool to have, but it's even better when it is a pop that fits into your collection. And this one, Definitely, definitely does. Uh, that and the Mr. Incredible would have fat, uh, fit right in. And I guess the big boy, because I do collect the ad icons, would be great as well. So couldn't really go wrong with those top three grails, and that's why I got this box from Spastic Collectibles. Let's see what this guy's going for. I know they had uh, a price on there, but let me just scan them to make it a little bit easier for myself. All right, guys, so I had to enter this one in manually. 
the Freddy Funko for the Black Ranger is showing up at a whopping $1,510. $1,510 for this Funko Pop. So, based on value on the Funko app, this is now my most expensive Funko Pop, which is pretty crazy. I know I have the leather face and the Spangler back there, which, you know, they could be worth a little bit more um, because none have really gone for sale in a while, but this pop actually has the value in uh, the Funko app as $1,510, making it the most expensive pop in my collection, which is nice to have the most expensive pop in your collection being one you actually collect. The leather face and Spangler are nice. They're not really what I collect. They're not really, um, they don't really fit into my collection, but they're still pretty rare, and that's why I like them. But this one is rare, fits in the collection, and it's the top grail now in my collection. And I'm very, very extremely excited to have this one. So, shout out to Spastic Collectibles for doing a box like that to give you the opportunity to get something like this in the collection. And yeah, guys, um, yeah, not much more I can say. This one is, uh, is a grail. <laughs> that's all I can say. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite one is. I think it's going to be the overwhelming favorite in the box. It's definitely one of my favorite pops in my collection now. And uh, yeah, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not already. Like I said, I have another $1,300 box coming in the mail very soon, so stay tuned for that video. And yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'll see you later.